Jeff Montgomery here from Accurate Rifles and Restorations. Today we're going to be doing a M16 style extractor on a Remington 700 bolt. This one. This one is made by Badger Ordnance from Kansas City, Missouri. They call it the HSLD. Magnum Extractor, High Speed Liquid Demon, Hot Salad Lighter Dish, Helium Scented Lime Door. <laughs> I don't know what the heck that has to do with an extractor, but hey, I'm sure they've got a reason for the HSLB. Um, anybody know? Put it in the comments. So anyway, uh, I've been doing these for years and years, so I've got a pretty good uh, method or whatever you want to call it. <sighs> good coffee. <clears throat> so here is the extractor that you get in the package. Very nicely machined. It's uh, hardened and all that good stuff to a certain Rockwell. I don't know without looking into it. I'm a gunsmith, not an engineer, so I don't know so much. Um, but yeah, that's the extractor. Simple little claw, mini claw style with a pin that holds it in and a little pocket there for your screw. I'm sorry, for your spring. So you get a little spring that's kind of a tapered spring, so it actually gets uh, stays in the little pocket there. And then there's your roll pin for installing it in the bolt body. And so this is going to replace. See if we can find this extractor here. There it is. So that is going to replace the built-in Remington style extractor. Um, yeah, that's not helping at all. It's that shiny, shiny silver little, there you go, that's a good shot. That, going to be replacing that. Now, the whole point of doing this is simply for a little bit stronger extractor. A little bit stronger and more reliable, and it's going to be installed right about here kind of on top of the bolt, um, opposite of the ejector, right? So that hooks on, I guess it would be on the left. No, it would be on the right side. Pulls the case out, and then the ejector, it pivots on the extractor, and the ejector pushes it out of the, out of the ejection port, like that. Now, um, some of you may have noticed, hey, this bolt's been sleeved. Well, that's, that's correct. I just got done turning down the sleeves on this, and I went ahead and trued up the backs of the logs. So all that work is done. Uh, I'm going to get this back in the machine. So the very first thing we need to do <clears throat> with this bolt is remove that existing extractor, which is actually riveted in right here. So most of the time you can just poke that out, like a real small uh, skinny punch, and just punch that out straight out, and that should jettison the extractor out of there. Uh, if that doesn't work, we'll just machine it out when we're machining the bolt, so we'll get into that in a second. Um, but the sleeves, um, I put the split right there, right where this is gonna be installed. So that'll just make for a little bit cleaner since we're going to be cutting that out, um, that little split right there will go away, obviously in place, you know, where it, the, the little channel and pocket that we're going to cut for this extractor. So when I do these, when I know I'm going to put an extractor on them, I put the split of the sleeve right there where it's going to be ma uh, machined for the extractor. Right, so... First thing you do, like I said, you get that old extractor out and then you get it in the lathe and turn it. And basically we're gonna open this up, <clears throat> the uh, 
diameter, inside diameter here, to about five eighths of an inch. Then you make these filler rings and you solder that in place of, you know, all the, uh, basically we're cutting out the old extractor and the channel that the extractor rides in to give us a nice fresh surface. Then we're gonna put this filler ring in, solder that in place, and then go back in and remachine that to the proper diameter for the case. Now this one's gonna be chambered in 300 win mag. So that's gonna be a magnum. Uh, so we're gonna be about 535. Which uh, means the case, the case head itself. Okay, so this is not a 300 win mag, but it is a belted magnum. It's a seven rem mag. So same thing. You know, we want that new ring to be able to accommodate our magnum cartridge. So this will have to be machined out in place, and it's long, so it'll be the internal diameter will be cut to size, five thirty six. And my tolerance on that is negative three thousandths, so 533 to 536. And then once the diameter's done, the length will be cut back down to the uh, bolt nose height there. So once that's installed, it's going to be going into the milling machine. <clears throat> and I have a jig for that. Okay, so this is just a little jig that I made years ago to hold the bolt in the milling machine with enough, uh, well basically it's, it's a jig that holds the bolt in the milling machine for the machining of the extractor. So the way this works, it's got two cap head set screws up top, holding it in. Okay, so the bolt is going to be held kind of like that. And so it's a V-block with two angles cut in there for the bolt lug to kind of bear against. So this is a setup for a, obviously a right hand bolt. Uh, if you had a left hand bolt, you would basically just turn it this way and put your extractor up here because your ejector would be the opposite. So because everything's coming out the left side of the receiver. But in this case, uh, my customer is a normal human being who is a right handed individual. And so it will be <clears throat> installed in place just like that, right? And then the end mill will come across the top and cut that channel down deeper and deeper and deeper until we get to depth. Um, there's several different uh, uh, features to cut. There's several different features to cut. Uh, like I said, there's your fillering, you know, and then, Obviously, that's kind of a drawing of what it'll look like inside the bolt, face. Then there's your pocket. So we've got a, several different uh, lengths, diameters, depths, radiuses to uh, hit. And then another shot of another angle of the pocket itself. And this is a property of Badger Ordnance. This is not my drawing. So it's giving you all the call as for all the stuff. And then it tells you you need to cut that bolt nose recess in the breech of the barrel. Bigger. 785 is what they're suggesting. Uh, I found 750 is usually good enough. I don't know. Focus. Okay. okay. So again, that is property of the Badger Ordinance. So there's your tolerances. <clears throat> as you can see, it's fairly tight tolerance on most of the cuts. Uh, and whatnot. So, easy job if you got the proper tooling. So, anyway, um, just like I said, we'll have uh, some footage of the machining operation going on and, and whatnot. So, so yeah, we'll get this uh, get this uh, prepped up for the fill ring. There's the rivet.
Come on. Come on out, buddy. There we go. Okay. Pretty good shot, huh? Okay, so for this, all we want to do is open the... We're not worrying about truing that up yet. Just want to skim the walls. Tumbling, tumbling. <laughs> Looks like about 50 to go.
Mm. Oh yeah.
Okay, now we're gonna do the sides. 255. Gonna do a climbing cut. Two and a half thousandths. Same depth, depth is good. So. Whisk this side, and then we're gonna go too short still on this. Five short. And then two and a half thousandths this way.
Okay, now we're going to 1.126. No, 1.125. Thank <laughs> you. 